If you move to the other side of the world, are you allowed to miss your old country? G'day guys, my name's Ross and I moved with my family to Australia during a global pandemic. If you're considering making the move to Australia, you'd probably like to think that you're moving over here for all of the best reasons. And one of the biggest concerns that's probably going through your mind is what's it gonna be like if I ever feel homesick? Now there are gonna be lots of people out there that are gonna say that Australia is the best country to move to in the world. And let's face it, there are probably gonna be more people all harping on about how fantastic their own countries are to live in as well. I recently came across this post that was shared by someone who was recently weighing up the pros and the cons of living in Australia Australia versus the UK. And not only has there been a lot of support for this person, but they've also got a lot of stick. Now me and myself, I have experienced a couple of comments calling me a whinging pom. But I think it's important to remember that there are always two sides to every story. So let's take a look and see what the two sides are to living in the UK versus Australia. Let's start with the pros. Family. That's probably the number one thing, isn't it? I don't think there really is a substitute for leaving your family in the UK or wherever it is that you've come from. And I'd probably go as far as to say that that's the number one reason why people do leave the country that they move to. This person, after all, has been here for longer than I have. I've already started to feel homesick myself. And after 20 years, I guess, you have missed out on a lot of big family milestones. Along with this, we've also got things like school friends. You can't just replicate the relationships that you've built up over your whole life of living in your original country. Yes, you can make new friends. Yes, Australians are fantastic to make new friends with, but they're not the same as your old friends and nothing can ever change that. Another thing I definitely agree with on this list is a Christmas atmosphere. Christmas is not the same in the summer. It's completely different. It's not to say which one is better or worse, but I suppose coming from a Northern Hemisphere upbringing, it is a bit alien celebrating Christmas in the summer, especially when all of the media and films and everything that we're subjected to as kids all kind of bears us on having this white Christmas. Christmas in July, isn't quite the same. And I suppose it definitely comes down to personal preference. People like surfing. I can't balance and I can't surf. Does that make me a bad person? And I think the rest of the things on this UK pros list also comes down to that fact. It's personal preference. Country cottages versus old colonial style buildings. They're two different things. You can't really compare them. Beautiful countryside. Well, Australia has beautiful countryside too. It just comes down to which one do you prefer? Chocolate. I don't actually mind the chocolate here. My wife thinks it's horrid. I also don't like American chocolate. I don't know why they love eating it. It's personal preference. Some of the things on here which I'm gonna give my own opinion about and I kind of disagree with. Universities. Now I never went to Cambridge or Oxford and I suppose if you're gonna go by ranking, they are some pretty good universities. But it's not to say that Australian universities are all bad. There are universities in Australia that are ranked higher than the one that I went to in the UK. So does that mean that my university was bad? The biggest question is, how many of the young people are actually gonna get into these good universities? And I would probably say that if you're able to get in as well, can you afford it? Because universities in Australia for residents are a lot cheaper than going to university in the UK. Another one I disagree with, history. Australia has one of the oldest surviving histories of any culture in the world. If you're gonna go by modern Australian history, then yes, you can argue that they haven't had much history because it only goes back to about 1770. But that's not all of Australian history, is it? And some things here that you can't really argue with, they just are. Supermarkets. Yeah, there's only about three major supermarkets in Australia. In the UK, you're a little bit more sport for choice and there definitely is more competition. But the size of the market over here is also tiny and it's really really difficult to sort all of those distribution lines to the five major cities. If you're only shopping at supermarkets, you're probably only going there for convenience. One thing that I do think that is better in Australia, if you don't like the supermarkets over in Australia, then go and have a look at your local markets and maybe it might be time to think about supporting local communities. And then the other thing coming from the UK, more fun things for kids. What is it that your kid wants to do that's fun? Because in my experience coming from the UK, a lot of kids over there just spend their time playing Xbox. And if you want to do any of these fun things, they're going to cost you an arm and a leg. There are plenty of Australian kids that love playing outdoors. And I say that that's something that you can't really do in the UK and you can get more of that in Australia. For me, one of the biggest considerations was moving over here for my children. And sometimes when I compare my childhood to the one that my daughter has, I sometimes wish that I had grown up in Australia too. So what about Australia? More space, sun all year round, higher pay, depending on which profession you're in. It's safe, access to great healthcare. Here's one you don't hear every day, less public debt, lower GST, less pollution, a greater life expectancy, 
and something I never really thought about, but decent tap water. Yes, we can drink out of the tap in Australia. Again, some of these are gonna come down to personal preference. Restaurants are better, apparently. The schools are better. People are happier. Now, probably if you take these things out of context, and when I say out of context, I mean you haven't really experienced these yourself. Again, a lot of these pros are gonna seem like personal preference. Not everyone in Australia is happy. Not everywhere in Australia has great schools. And like the UK, if you've had a good experience from living there, you could probably substitute these on either country. Both countries have great healthcare. Both countries have good universities. And both countries, depending on where you look, probably more so in Australia, but there are good beaches. I guess it comes down to what is it that you really value and what is your starting experience? Because I think for this person, having moved here 20 years ago, a lot has changed in that time. What you moved over here in the first instance for could change over 20 years. A lot changes in 20 years. So what is it that's all bad in Australia then? So far away boring lack of history i don't think they're really fair slow internet expensive bushfires everything wants to kill you shopping is not as good again i think that it's unfair to kind of say that if it's a pro in the uk then it automatically must be a con in australia not everywhere has crap internet our quarantine hotel had fantastic internet and yeah i guess everything over here would be expensive if you were earning what you did in the uk so what's bad about the UK then? Tap water's horrid. Well, I reckon if you lived in some parts of the UK, it is probably horrid. But then there are other places where it's fantastic. The motorways are gridlocked. Cold and miserable. Hospital wait times. Political unrest. Thank you, Putin. There are definitely some things on this list for both the UK and Australia that are kind of irrefutable. Rankings for which country is the safest, you can't really argue with that. Population densities of high population density to low, you can't argue with that. I guess if you're wanting to move from the UK to Australia or from whatever country you're living in to Australia, there are definitely some things that you just can't argue about. How much inflation is going on in your country at the moment? Well, is it better or worse than Australia? The thing to remember about all of these different things is that they can change. And for this person, a lot has changed in 20 years. Other things on this list are kind of personal preference. Do you like stony beaches or do you like uninhabited sandy beaches that have got things in the water that can cause death? Some people would rather take the stony one with no sharks and some people would rather take their chances on the one with no flags to swim between. Idiots. I guess the thing you need to remember before you start slagging anyone off is the fact that we're all allowed to have our own personal preference. The thing for you to think about before you make any significant move to the other side of the world is what is it that you really, really value in life? If you really, really want fast, easily accessible internet, then maybe Australia isn't for you. If you really, really value a Christmassy atmosphere in December and don't mind sitting in the dark all the time, then that's your choice. And the most important thing to remember is don't yuck someone else's yum if you've never experienced it for yourself. We haven't experienced anyone else's life but our own. Don't live your life by someone else's opinion. If you wanna find out what it's really like, I guess you have gotta go and put yourself out there and find out for yourself. The two things that are on this list that you can't really argue with are not having your family here and not having your old friends. There's no real substitute for those. But in the globalized world that we live in, why can't you visit them or why can't they come and visit you? My main takeaway from all of this is the fact that you're allowed to change your opinions and you're allowed to have opinions that are different from someone else. And when someone makes a list about what the UK is like and what Australia is like, you need to remember that it's not all of those countries. There are some parts of the UK that are worse than Australia. I get it, but there are also some parts of Australia that are worse than some parts of the UK. Which one are you looking to move from and to? And as long as you're trading up, well then you're winning, my friend. Don't look at everything through rose tinted glasses. And if you wanna see what our life is like in Australia, then watch this video. See you later.